So generally this is also the way planes come in for landing. Yep. So is it just the altitude that basically separates us? Yep, altitude and you know, they, they can be coming in from all the way over there. I mean, you just got to be listening. Byron area traffic, Cessna 906 Mike Delta, inbound Altamont Pass for runway 23. Cessna 906 Mike Delta, Livermore Tower still on the Livermore Tower frequency, frequency change proof. Now, how far away are you from the airport and what direction? Uh, downwind. No, 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 how far away? Uh, three miles. I'd guess that too. Okay. And what, what direction? Uh, inbound from Altamont. Nope, that doesn't tell anybody anything. West? You can say west. Uh, so it'll all work. One seven one six zero at four miles to the west. We'll end our crosswind for downwind one four. Byron area traffic Cessna nine zero zero six Mike Delta inbound west for runway two three three miles out. Byron area traffic. So hit the forty five for downwind. Sounds good to me. Uh, 1,400 feet, and closer to pattern altitude, that's good. <laughs> no, you're not. Closer. Well, we need to be 6,000. No? Yeah, or less. Byron near traffic, Cessna 906, Mike Delta, turning left base for runway 23, Byron. Oh, I don't feel any of the headwind. Oh, I see it. I feel it. Short field approach, remember that. Okay. Better get the power out of there. All the way off. Okay, flaps up, clean the plane up. Maximum performance takeoff over climbing over a fifty foot obstacle. Yeah. Watch for twenty two hundred. There we go, good. Don't worry about getting lined up. Yeah, just yeah. There you go. Pull all the way back. Pull, 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 pull. Okay, pitch over. We've cleared our 50-foot obstacle. All right, don't don't sink back down. Yeah. All right, let's go down to tracing. So two six would be right pattern. Nope. Ah, so you go past three zero and then come in for two six. Uh, cross midfield. Okay. No. So what maybe? Four or five miles out. Oh, uh, you're over the Safeway plant. Huh? You're over the Safeway plant right here. Oh, okay. I'd come back on the power. You're ripping along and you're high. There we go. Let's go towards the runway. Or airport, I should say. I was actually going a little farther out because we no, got no, a go road road. flight. Nope. You're, you're safer going directly over midfield. Space area traffic, Cessna 906 Mike Delta, safer plant inbound for runway 23. 26. <laughs> the safest place, unless there's a helicopter, you've got all the planes going, you know, climbing up and all that kind of stuff. Ah. If you're over midfield. Okay, so you, so you want me to go straight over midfield yeah. and then turn around and come for 23? No, three? not turn around, just. You, you want to get down to. Working your way down to pattern altitude, then you can enter a, a left downwind. Oh, okay. I know there's nobody out here, but... Oh, midfield over the two, yeah. 2612. Yeah. I, I was thinking about midfield over the 30 runway, and I was kind of uh -huh. wondering no. why would we go that way. Okay, I got it. No, you're, the active runway is now 26, so that's the midfield thing. Okay. But you're doing just fine here right now. 
Now at this point, you tell them you're going to cross midfield at 1,500 feet for left traffic 26. Fire in area traffic, nope. Cessna 9 nope. Tracy area traffic, Cessna 906 Mike Delta, flying midfield for left traffic, runway 26. Tracy area traffic. Go over the road and then turn. No, no, turn downwind. Yeah, too close to the runway now. Yep, you're okay. Okay, this is the soft field guy now. Okay. Soft field, so I'm doing only two notches. Yep. Now bring in a little bit of power. Add some power, there you go. There we go, good, keep it back. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's depart left downwind and we'll go over to New Jerusalem. Tracy traffic 906 Mike Delta departing runway 26, left downwind. Okay, right there. You got her. I wouldn't climb too much higher, you're only yeah. seven miles away. Okay, you're up on the frequency because it's not on there. Okay. And we know the wind was 260. We'll do the 30. Okay, this is going to be a crosswind landing. Right. So, we're only going to use 20 degrees of flaps. Now, as we're going downwind, let's take a look at the wind sock. Almost a direct crosswind. Or I can't, yeah. Uh, more like, yeah, uh, more it's like a headwind. Bit. Yeah, it is. It will be a little bit, of, but it's still going to be a crosswind. Yep. Okay. Okay, again, take a look at the wind sock, yeah, it's just to verify yeah. it. And it's... Yep. We're going to crash. Wow. Did Airspeed was way down there. Okay, you've got the plane again. Is this guy camped down here? Oh, it's crashed. <laughs> That's now really? this... That's now the second one you and I have seen. Okay, let's try that again. I came in too high. You've, too high. You've done that at Byron yeah. and Tracy. You're afraid to pull that power. Wow, that was super slow. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pitch up. Don't pitch up. Don't pitch up. Power up if you're going to do anything. Just a little bit, not a lot. Okay, right rudder, right rudder and left aileron. Right rudder and left aileron. There we go. Okay, clean it up. Let it, let it weather vane into the wind, just yeah. like we're doing. Now they had to take the engine out of it. <laughs> wow. All right, let's come back around and try that one more time. Okay. Get your airspeed. A little bit of power. Now, see, you're getting blown over. Yeah. So it's right rudder, pitch over. Yep. Yeah. Right rudder and left aileron. There you go, you're holding it right down the runway. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back to Livermore. Go ahead, hold it up there. Just yep. hold. There you go.
So that uh, one time when we got really slow. You should have gone around. I should have gone around. I was trying to do a slip to come down. And I was so focused on that, I didn't even pay attention to the airspeed. But I didn't feel anything in the plane as if it was starting to get closer to the stall speed. And it was, I think, 50 knots or so when you caught it. Yeah, because we were, you were still pitching up. You, you were pitched up, and that's what concerned me. And you know what, you saw what I did. I pushed forward, powered up, and away we went. Yeah, you can't fixate on, you gotta keep multitasking. You know, as, as we were approaching and we were so high, I was sort of half a mind if we could go around or not. Four, three, if you, if, if, I, I should have just gone around. Yeah. Box stock landing would like uh, to touch a ghost. And I could use the left if I could. If it even crosses your mind, that's when you go. And Tower 7 Echo Hotel, we got a check in, so... Tower 7 Echo Hotel, thank you. We got the 7 Echo Hotel, for good exchange proof. 7 Echo Hotel, for exchange proof, thanks, good day. Three Mike Mike traffic is now uh, behind it to your left. 2,500 eastbound has you in sight. Frequency change approved. Looking for traffic. Frequency change approved. Three Mike Mike. Tower Cessna 906 Mike Delta, Altamont landing with Foxtrot. So couldn't he see us on his uh, radar? Yeah, but yeah, you weren't talking to him. So even if I'm not talking to him... If you're not talking to him, he's not going to point you out. And I don't know what he was doing. I, I didn't catch him on the radio, but Thank I... Thank you, Joe Siaco. For you to change proof. Joe Siaco, see you in a couple hours. Yeah, I mean, it's a wow factor. You can't, tr yeah, just because you're listening to tower frequency, you may miss something. I, Like I said, I saw him just as he was coming up with the, the hills just here where the start of the Altamont was. Yeah, I saw him just as I mentioned it to you, and I, yeah, I don't you, know, it, it, it seemed like he was going to, you know, he was not in our path, but yeah, he was super close. So you take evasive action, you just crank it over and... And it, you know our closing rate's probably 200 knots. But remember, your pilot command. If you see something, you know it's just like we were talking about the go around. Same thing with that. You take the evasive action. Yeah. Don't you, you move your hand. That's when you want to, you know, get the wings level. Oh? Nope. nope, I want you to pull off, because uh, you're going to go fly this thing by yourself. This is 6 Mike Delta, turn right taxiway Delta, then contact ground point 6. 